As you're probably well aware, there is a deadly, society-crumbling virus plaguing Australia. I'm speaking, of course, of ScoMo Fever. It's honestly like Beatles mania in the 60s, except there's only one member, it's Ringo Starr, he doesn't know how to play the drums, and Thomas the Tank Engine ran over his arms. Public opinion has skyrocketed for a man who objectively has had a terrible response to the corona outbreak. See links in the description. Numerous medical experts saying, hey, just because we're not New York doesn't mean we're doing a good job. Yet the Australian public thinks that he's doing splendidly. Why? Because he's on television a lot. That's not a joke. That's a quote. Look at this comment. 11,000 likes. And before I see the image, let me picture who wrote this. I'm seeing some sunburnt cunt wearing fluoro glasses holding a big dead fish. Bingo. It's basically uniform for people with the view, oh, I'm not into that politics shit. Both parties are a bunch of clowns. Anyway, I vote liberal without fail. It's so predictable in their fashion sense, we should just start a brand to make money off them. Gooch. Tara Cash for the Yug Libs, Gooch for the Fishmongers. Clearly you can tell from the fact that he's killed something and he's holding it up as a trophy that this man's opinion is gonna be a verbal chum bucket. I mean, I understand that fishing is necessary, but if your greatest accomplishment in life is that you outsmarted a fish, the best case scenario is you have the intelligence of a cat. That's what they do. They kill birds, leave it on the front porch, and if Ken here saw it, he'd say, F*** your yeah, mittens, you should get a selfie with that eye, mate. We've given him a fake name because remember, when we're dealing with civilians, we're on safari. When we're dealing with pros like Joe Hildebrand or Joe Hildebrand's Jungian shadow, Gary Awesome, fair game. He writes, oh, I'm not a political person. Then why do you feel so compelled to share your political opinion? Because it's a free country and you can do whatever you damn well please? Yeah, well, you were too preoccupied by whether or not you could that you didn't stop to ask yourself whether you should. Politics is a very complicated subject. You may as well be saying, Oh, I don't know shit about chemistry, but here's my f***ing hot take on iron stinium reactions, c**ts. Just expressing my opinion. In fact, I stopped caring after our circus went through three PMs in as many years. We get it, Ken. Clowns. I see a tired, drained, but invested and determined man on the television. He thinks Scott Morrison's doing a good job because he looks tired. This is a fully grown man who openly admits he takes whatever media manipulation is thrown at him literally on face value and doesn't think that's a bad thing. Cameras don't lie, grub. I'm starting to think I've given the propaganda model too much credit. No one seems to care what Lee Sales or Alan Jones thinks. All they seem to care about is if you film Scott Morrison just getting out of bed. If he's really behind in the polls, just film him with a bandage on his head. Hell, shoot some lightning in his face, he'd be the emperor of the galaxy. 2,500 doctors, global experts in pandemics, all chastising the Morrison government for pretending that this wasn't the biggest health crisis since the Spanish flu, and now we have a severe lack of test kits, a severe lack of a medical strategy that has led to a situation where the death rate could have been 1%, it's much more likely to be 4% now. This graph, clearly indicating that Australia had one of the worst responses in the world. They don't give a shit about that. The only lines they seem to care about are the ones under Scott's eyes. Picture's worth a thousand words, isn't it? Yeah, okay, here you go. 20,000 words. Links in the description. You won't read them. The only thing you can finish from start to end is a Crisco catalog. Unprecedented fires, floods, that the government knew about since 2008. Those estimates were made 12 years ago. The Liberals did nothing, actively ignoring dozens of emergency services chiefs for years. But your point of reference as to whether or not a government's doing well is if they've had a rough week at work. That's how you see governing a nation. He better have a bumper sticker that says same shit, different day, or I don't trust him. Mondays, am I right? Well, he's not wrong. And now, a pandemic. Which he knew about months ago and did nothing because that's what ScoMo does best. Nothing. No electoral promises, more days off than any Prime Minister in history, no prep for bushfires, no prep for COVID. I'm honestly starting to think that that's the reason the average Aussie likes him, because he doesn't give a shit about anything except the footy. They like the fact he sucks. They read the title of my video, He Sucks, and think, Mate, we're saying the same thing, but it's like we mean different things? Does that make sense? Half the country carrying on like toddlers when ScoMo took his family to Hawaii for a few weeks. During the bushfires, which you yourself just admitted were unprecedented. Ken, 
not only are you not a political person, you're not even much of a person. You can't even not contradict yourself within the span of a sentence. According to you, he's doing a good job because he looks tired. But he's also doing a good job when he looks fully rested. In fact, he's doing a good job when he's not even f***ing doing his job. Doesn't matter what he does, he'll get flying past marks from you because just like your general hobby of fishing, your general views on politics are fed to you by billionaires that throw you a couple of games of cricket as part of their Panama and package. Can't you just say Circus? No. What? Now all he wants you to do is stay at home unless it's essential and you can't even do that. No, Ken, that's not why people are angry at him. They're angry at him because he didn't declare this months ago. You're angry at the people you agree with. You know that American soldier in Iraq that threw a grenade at an American tent? That's you. I wouldn't want his job for all the money in the world. What? You wouldn't do it for 90 trillion dollars. According to you, it's only a year's worth of work, mate. I'd do it. You'd have a bunch of yahoos like you supporting you no matter what you do. Look at all those likes. They could be a tribute to you. You, you, you. In a time where we needed a leader, not a politician, ScoMo stepped up. How is he not a politician? You think he just sprung up like some Gandhi figure off the streets of Mumbai? Morrison stepped up? What does that mean? You think he only started existing when you heard of him? Hang on, there's people I don't know about? Who are they? Where did they come from? You do realise that the Prime Minister, despite having a different title, is still a politician, right? Before that, he was a Member of Parliament since 2007. And before that, he drifted from fat cat job to fat cat job, where he was paid exorbitant amounts of your tax money to, I think, tank the tourism industry? That's your man of the people. Duh, come, where the bloody hell? Oh, shouldn't have sworn. So no one stepped up. When we needed a leader, a smarmy, self-serving technocrat slithered in. But he's not leading. From the stimulus to lockdowns to COVID prevention, he's consistently trailed Anthony Albanese by months. The time to step up was months ago. You know, when the Liberal Party was laughing at the idea of a stimulus package. But according to the average punter, none of that matters because they saw footage of him looking stressed. Do they think Neighbours is real? You've got to call these people out. Every time you see someone saying ScoMo's doing a good job, slam them. You're not trying to convince them. They think that ScoMo's doing a good job when he's on his fourth pina colada while the country's burning koalas. This isn't about convincing them. This is about convincing the undecideds reading it. Slam them with facts like Ken Slam's 4X Goldies. Hard as f so before you go on to Netflix to watch, I'm assuming Spider-Man 3, make sure you like this video. And if I got that right, you have to like this video. You also have to get two of your friends to subscribe because we need this channel to be the size of Channel 7 and Channel 9 News so we can compete with their message that there's more to the story than Scott Morrison doing stuff. ScoMo fever is a secondary infection of Corona. The people have to know. And we're trying to inoculate you by putting Scott Morrison's face on Star Wars shit. Please share and comment below. Come in.